Eight Reasons I Don't Like Kittens by Tom Seast. Don't be storying. My grandma used to tell me, don't be storying. And this may apply here. But I'm not storing you. It's not that I hate cats or that I hate kittens. Far from it. Those who know me recognize that I have an affinity for the finest of felines so that they may think I'm storing, but I'm not. I think my fondness for the fuzzy felines began in the early days when I saw Tweety and Sylvester in their antics. I liked Tweety Bird because he dressed in the finest of colors, yellow. And Sylvester was always conniving to eat Tweety. Now, I would never try to eat Tweety Bird, but I confess that I do have a fondness for fried chicken. So why don't I like kitties? Well, read on. Number one, fuzzy felines. Like the fairest of fuzzy felines, I'm a little bit fuzzy myself. So I love, love, love to have warm, fuzzy kittens around so that I can pet them, even though their fur tends to take my breath away. I still persist in making their fuzzy fur fly in fabulous formations but I don't like them. <clears throat> Two, fierce independence. The kitties seem to begin their existence by being fiercely dependent on their mother, but as they grow, they quickly develop independent streaks. I love their ability to create problems for every solution and spark friendly feline fights over the simplest of things like red dots. However, I still don't like them. The naps. It's really more of a jealousy thing, but I love how kitties spend their long days in the midst of long feline dreams. While I don't enjoy the opportunities like I used to, I really like to nap about 10 hours per day, followed by about eight hours of restful sleep. However, I still don't like the pooty tats. The purr. I love how the kitties like to purr when you start to pet and fuzz them. They soon develop the habit of flipping their tails and pretending that they don't want to be near you, but they eventually sidle up to you with their motors running because they want you to pet them endlessly until they want you to stop, which is almost right away. The petting requires specific planning and must be tailored and customized for each cat, which makes it very challenging, but I still don't like them. Five, the diet. <clears throat> I love how kitties like to eat the chicken, fish, pork, and beef. I gotta admit that I'm envious of their carnivorous lifestyle. You won't ever see me out hunting birds, but I certainly enjoy the meats. But I still don't like them. Six, the snuggles. I love how the kitties all fight and play all day and pretend to be mortal enemies. But when it turns cold out, they huddle, snuggle, and groom each other. I still don't like kitties, but I am a little envious. 7. The Tails You can observe a lot by observing a kitten's tail, and you can earn their wrath by attempting to pet it. Their tails are the windows to their souls and indicate how they are feeling and wish to be treated. But I still don't like them. Eight, the catitude. I love how they strut their stuff all over the place as though they have no fear in the world. But a simple loud noise sends them scurrying up a tree. I don't have their strut, but I scare pretty easily but I still don't like them. I love them. That's right, I don't like kitties, I love them. I'll deny to my dying day that I'm obsessed with them, but I won't turn the kitties away. I try to do what I can to make their stay on this earth pleasant as they do for each of my passing moments. So I've given you eight reasons why I don't like kitties, and that's because I love them.